hello friends welcome to explore youtube channel today we'll be going to learn about one of the best tab being available in ms word document is insert tab which is so amazing to be used while preparing ms word documents here you may have tremendous benefits from inserting shape inserting smart art inserting word art inserting text box inserting screen clipping as well as inserting hyperlink so let's start our video from here on for instance you have prepared your word document depending on the assignment dissertation thesis and for any professional work requirement it can be from 1 to 50 pages or any number of pages but you want to make your ms word document to look beautiful readable and has a good effect on the mind of the reader as well so here we'll be going to start how to insert shapes click on top of the page go to insert tab go to shapes here you will find any number of formats and designs available so we will go to stars and banners here we will choose this option curved down ribbon once you click on it you will find a plus icon here you have to draw it you can see the format tab has come up and it's been activated so you click on this sharp styles downward arrow and you can choose any style you may like from here and you click inside to enter the heading of your word document select it go to home tab increase the size or you can change the theme font as well and friends I would like to add and shape here after the first paragraph I click after the first paragraph and go to insert tab then I click on shapes here this sign I would like to add this horizontal icon so I come over here and I draw this like this way now friends you can see the format tab has activated and a paragraph has gone behind it should go like this way outside here instead of the background of the icon so you select your icon go to wrap text in format tab and click on square and then click inside to write anything you would like to add for your reader so they can understand for what purpose the icon or shape has been added and what relevant information he or she may get from here on and similarly you can increase the size here you can add any text information so the reader can have a good view no friends the second thing is you click here on this icon again the go to format tab go to wrap text if you click on tight it will display the result like this way you click on through it will display results like this way top and bottom your paragraph got shifted to bottom behind text then your icon has got transparency in front then the icon comes in front so for the moment we use square option and now you can see if I would like to move my icon from here up and down anywhere I can move it and the paragraph setting has got set itself so that's a very good way you can add shapes and make them move up and down right and left now friends next thing is how to insert smart art so we will go to down side of the page and here after this paragraph we would like to add smart art we click on insert tab go to smart art in illustrations click here you will find huge number of samples being available here depending on the left side lids available here for instance friends you would like to add this red radial cycle click on it and it will provide information about the radial here as well then click on ok you can see here the radial has come up and 
I would like to squeeze it a bit more so it can go on top on the upper page because we would like to display it over there now friends you have to enter the information in this text box generally we click on each of the text box and start entering our information it takes a lot of time so we have a simpler way very simplified one click on this greater than less than sign you will sign find here the information available right now click on the first one add C week so it's been added now these outside four are the part of this seaweed so here I just mentioned and that on the next one do not click on enter after this if you click on enter the another circle box will be added please do not click on enter after you mention the word text then click on the next text and mention the information over there as C and here we would like to see SN and here we would like to see MS now if we don't need this text box we click on here and then click on delete button the box circle box is now being deleted so right now we have mentioned the information here in case you wanted to add information in NZ give space enter a new one has entered as a circle but do not delete it click on tab button so this will make a subsection under NZ and here we can write anything we would like to add here similarly if you want to add a subsection after C click enter then click tab button and you can add subheading there as well now friends our next option is we want to display this box smart art box on the left side of the section B so we click on the smart art box go to format go to wrap text go to square it means now we can move our box from here to here and we can squeeze it depending on our need so that's how you can add smart heart box any number smart art box and I mentioned you the process how you can enter information add even how to add subsection as well so you have to follow these simple steps to add in shapes and smart art box our next option is how to add word art for instance friends this is our section C here and we would like to add a word art here we have to go to insert and we then we have to go to word art here we can select any option explore you YouTube channel we will squeeze it a bit more here and you can see the matter has disappeared due to its size so we click outside we go to home we click to minimize the size and now here you can see that's how we can manage our word art but friends similarly like the smart art we would like to display it over here on the right side of section C so we select this word art go to format go to wrap text go to square it means now you can put it it anywhere move it up and down and your text will get resize itself depending on the options we have selected in wrap text in case friends you want your section D as a word art select the section D go to insert tab go to insert and here you can select any option and it will start appear in word art 
and then you can move it anywhere ever wherever would you like to have so that's the simple and easy ways which are very handy in preparing and maintaining word documents and making them beautiful as well so moving further a next option is how to add screen clipping friends sometimes what happens we visit on Google we copy the image whichever we like or save it in a word document and then we have to use paint to crop it and then we have to use Microsoft Office to make it more beautiful and it takes around 5 to 10 minutes or 20 minutes but here in Word documents you do not have to worry about this thing for instance friends after section F you would like to add a screenshot of a Excel table you do not have to take a screenshot you do not have to copy this you have to open your word document and you have to open your excel file or online file or pdf document but do not minimize those document let them keep open on the taskbar friend this where my mouse cursor is moving it's a taskbar so you let it open then move your mouse cursor to word document so your excel file is open behind the word document now go to insert tab here go to screenshot and you can see all the files which are opened on my taskbar are shown over here this is excel file this is online google file and similarly the other file as well so i click on the excel chart and you can see in an instant my excel chart has come up over here now you want it to crop it it's already been selected go to format tab go to crop and you can find here the cropping option and you can crop it depending on your need similarly if you wanted to show this chart in between the paragraphs then click on it go to format go to text wrap go to square now you can move it anywhere wherever you would like to move it up and down for the friends if we would like to add an image from online or from a PowerPoint we have to open our PowerPoint slides like this and you have to go on to the specific site to which you would like to add in your word document click on word go to insert tab click on screenshot here you do not have to click on the above option you have to go to screen clipping and in a moment you see the plus icon has been activated and the screen of word uh, powerpoint has got faded it means you can crop it over here straight way in the moment i just left it after selecting my image has come up over here now i go to format go to trap text go to square this means now my information has been added and my text wherever would like to display this image inside the message or outside i can move it over there for instance i would like to add image from online how i can add it I click in front of the paragraph or on the black space where I would like to add it go to insert tab go to screenshot go to screen clipping but before that we have to open our file here and then we follow the same process now you can see we are ended up over here on this online file so here we can select this image and leave it it will come up over here directly in ms word document then you have to simply follow the format text and wrap text and then you can move it anywhere wherever you would like to show it reason being these are the things which signify for what purpose the shape has been added the smart art has been added images has been added charts graphs this provides extra information to the readers.
and these things makes your MS Word document more beautiful. Now the second last option over here is inserting text box. So friends, we would like to add text box after this paragraph. I click enter, then I go to insert tab and here I would like to add any available option depending on my word requirement. So I click on this braces code 2. Now you can see here some information is being already represented over here. But I don't need this so I by double clicking it and delete it. So it's been deleted now and I would like to display something from my word document for example we can copy it and we can keep it over here or we can write ourselves as well you do not have to copy so you have to it's already selected now go to format tab go to wrap text go to square this means you can also use this anywhere wherever you would like to display in your ms word document this makes your work very productive and last option is how we can add hyperlink friends you have prepared your assignment or documents dissertation thesis whatsoever and in between or at the end wherever you would like to enter the website link of your website or bibliography or whatever so anybody who visit on your ms word document or on pdf they can click on the link and directly visit the website so how you can add website link in ms word document click anywhere wherever you would like to add it go to insert tab go to hyperlink here you have to mention your website dot explore it's a explore youtube channel.com it's not in real just a simulation so you can see here now the link is being added here press control and then press click the website will open if it appears on google browser or yahoo or any other browser if not it will not appear right now it's not a website i just show you an example so how to deactivate this hyperlink you have to come up on the link right click on your laptop or on computer then remove hyperlink here i hope you like this video friends please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching explore youtube channel